everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. In this video, I'm just gonna show you quickly how to correct a small issue that you can run into if you're moving a recorder from a dynamic or DHCP address across to a static address. Um, now the recorder will, will basically complain about a DNS error saying that you haven't set your DNS addresses properly. Um, I'm just gonna show you why that happens and how to correct it. So I'm just gonna jump across to a recorder now. So this is just a four channel recorder, which I'm going to be setting from dynamic to static. So I'm going to go main menu, enter my username and password if I haven't already, and select network, and then I'm gonna select TCP IP. Now in here, I'm gonna click the edit button, and I'm gonna remove DHCP, so this is an address that it's picked up um, dynamically. I'm gonna change that to static, and I'm going to set this to maybe 100 here, okay? So 10.1.100.100. I'm gonna leave the rest of the details the same and I'm gonna select OK. Okay, so at this point, obviously you can see I've got the address that I, that I want to set up here and I'm gonna click apply. And I get this error message, DNS invalid, high bit must be between one and 223. Now that's a little bit cryptic in what it's actually saying but basically a DNS is our hint here saying that there's something wrong with the DNS settings. Now, if I click yes, we'll jump out of there just to show you again, I'll click apply, I get the same error. but Essentially what we're talking about, or what the error is talking about, is that you've only assigned one DNS server here. So you can see the DNS server by default, or not by default, the one that's picked up from DHCP. There was only one DNS server set to DHCP and it was 10.254.20.10. What's happened is the recorder's filled in the other one with 0.0.0.0 when it's acquired it uh, via DHCP because uh, essentially our, our router didn't give us another address. Um, that's an issue because at this point we're trying to click apply it saying, well, no, you can't do that. You can't set an IP address for the DNS server to 0.0.0.0. So the way to fix that basically is just to either pick, pick another DNS server. So I could put the same DNS details in down the bottom here. Um, sorry, the same details from my, my existing server, or I can just pick another one. So in this case, I'm gonna put in Google's DNS just so that it's not zeros, okay? So anything that isn't zeros, it is a valid DNS server. So I'm gonna fill that in, click apply, and everything's set now. So if I jump back to another section, you can see that everything there is saved. So it's just a quick little fix that you can, um, you can use just to get yourself out of trouble there. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. I know that it's uh, sometimes something that a lot of people run into. So yeah, hopefully it's been useful. Feel free to like and subscribe to videos on this channel if you've been finding it useful. Thanks for watching.